What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And if you're new here, my channel is all about teaching folks Linux and helping others break into the tech field. And today we got something dope for you guys. We're going to dive into setting up a DHCP server on Ubuntu. By the end of this video, you'll have the know-how to get your own DHCP server up and running in your home lab. So let's get started. All right, so before we get our hands dirty, let's break down what a DHCP server actually does. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And basically it's a network management protocol used to automate the process of configuring devices on IP network. It assigns IP addresses, default gateways, and other network parameters to client devices. And this makes it super easy to manage a large number of devices without having to set up each one manually. So to break down the plan for today, I wanna walk you guys through installing the DHCP server on Ubuntu server. And then secondly, we'll configure our DHCP server to assign IP addresses. And then lastly, we'll test out to make sure it's working properly. So let's jump right into it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm logged into my Ubuntu server and it's 24.04. And the first thing you wanna do is update your server. So let's run sudo apt updates. And then also let's run it together with sudo apt upgrade. Cause I know this server has some updates for it. This is basically like a clone of the base level operating system that doesn't have any of the services running on it. And I know it needs some updates. So we're going to run through them right fast. And like I've said in all my other videos, anytime you're installing any new piece of software, you want to make sure your Ubuntu servers is fully up to date. All right. So our updates are done and I went on and rebooted the server because it stated that I was using some out-of-date binaries for SSH. So that's why I went on and logged out of it. Re well, rebooted the server. So it'll come up and it's working properly. It has all the updates. Now let's go on and install our DHCP server. And the package name is ISC tag DHCP tag server. So let's type sudo apt install. And then like I said, ISC tag DHCP and then tag server. And I'm gonna just tab it out. So, I, cause I want you guys to see they do have two different types of servers. There's a LDAP server and then a regular server. We're gonna install the regular server. LDAP is the authentication. We're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna use the regular package. So let's go down and get that installed right fast. Now that we got it installed, let's just run sudo system CTL status of our ISC tech DHCP server per center. It's failed at the moment, but that's because we have to configure it. So let's go through and configure it right fast. So let me clear. And like I've stated in whenever we install any new packages or packages that run like services on the system, there's always a directory that's created or majority of the time there's a directory created under the ETC directory. And that directory is most of the time named after the application. So DHCP and then there's a DHCP D for daemon conf in that directory. And one thing I did not do was type in our text editor. So use whatever text editor you want to use, nano, vibe, vim, whatever. So let's go down and open up that file. And there are some options that are set up here at the top, like the default least time, max least time. You can make changes to that if you want to, you don't have to, but what I recommend you do is go down to the bottom or close to the bottom. There are some examples and here we go. So this is an example right here we want to use the first example we can go in here so what we want to do is set up our network and the first thing you need to set up is the main network now i have a separate network set up on my network with a router and all that stuff and i want to create this as our dhcp server over there and i know it's a 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 network so i'm gonna set it up that way or put that in there as the main network 
address and then our snap mask 255-255-255.0 and you just set it up based on however you want to set it up and then we want to set up our range and our range is going to be the amount of ip addresses we want to give out so i'm going to just start at 10.10.10.10 and then we want to go to let's say let's do 50 so that's 10.10.10.10 60 so that'll be 50 ip addresses that it will sign and all you have to do is put a space in there so range and then the first ip address in the range and then the last ip address in the range and then let's add another line right up here because we have to add some options one of the options is the router so you want to specify the router and it's routers with an s and so you want to type 10.10.10.1 one and so let's add our subnet mask so we have to type option and then subnet task tech mask and then let's specify what that is so that's 255.255.255.0 and that's a 24 network so let's go down and press enter or put the semicolon at the end and press enter and the last thing we need to add is our domain servers and this is so when it hands out lease, it'll also hand out the domain name servers or DNS servers. So let's type option and then it's domain tech name tech servers. And then also let's type in our gateway. So 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 and then also let's use like a Google server right fast DNS server as one of the main servers for DNS and put a semicolon at the end of it. And that's pretty much it. We don't have to make any more changes in here. This basically sets up our DHCP network, our server. So let's go down and press control X and then Y for yes, press enter and we're good to go there. Now, one other thing we gotta do to set it up is specify our network interface. And so the first thing you wanna do is find out what the interface name is. I know what it is, it's uh, ENS18. It may be different for you guys. This is essentially what the DHCP server will listen on. And so it's ENS18 for me. Like I said, it may be different, but you need to specify that in another file. So let's type sudo nano and then etc and then default. And then there is a ISC file in there as well. So ISC tag DHCP tag server, open up that file. And then we can specify our interface down here. So ENS 18, we don't need a version six. We don't have an interface for that, but we just have one for version four. Control X, press Y and write that out. Write those changes out too. Now, one other thing I'm gonna do is I have a separate network. I'm gonna set up a static IP address for this server. And I wanna set it up for that network. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the configuration file for our net plan, or actually create a new configuration file for our net plan to create a static ip address and i'm gonna give it an ip address of 10.10.102 and so let's go in there right fast and do that and this is something you may want to do it all depends if you're setting this up on a separate network that you have to specify the ip addresses but if it's on the network that you're on let's say you turn off your router's dhcp server you want to set up your dhcp server with a static ip address i recommend you do that that way all your servers are quickly find it your systems on the network are going to be looking for a dhcp server in order to connect to but you really want to set a static ip address i recommend you do that so let's set our static ip address right fast i'm gonna create a separate file from that main file in there and i already have my configuration written out just so i wouldn't make any mistakes in it i'm gonna set the address to 10.10.10.24 24 network gateway will be our router 10.10.10.1 and then our name servers i just gave it google name servers which is fine or i could have changed it up and put our gateway in there it doesn't matter but we're gonna use it that way press enter boom good to go now that i changed the ip address within there I'm not gonna just run the apply. What I'm gonna do is just shut down the server because I need to move it over to another interface. That way it's on the proper network and then I'll have to connect to it from another virtual machine that's on that network in order to basically verify that the DHCP works now. I'm sure that everything is configured properly. So we're just gonna run a sudo shutdown of the server and now and press enter that'll shut it down and i'll bring it back up on the other interface and i'll be back in a second so i'm at my ubuntu 24.04 virtual machine i'm gonna log into it and see if we have network connectivity or at least an ip address from our server that we have set up see the question mark 
says disconnected so let's go up in here right fast see what's going on okay cool so it does have an ip address of 10.10 10.10 so it's first ip address in that range that we set up so it does have access to the network and that dhcp server is actually handing out the ip addresses so that's pretty cool that it actually worked right away i thought i was gonna have to go in and ssh and and actually i'm typing in the wrong ip address but i thought i was gonna have to go in and probably restart dhcp it looks like it worked out by me just restarting the server so 10.10.2 let's see if we can get into it right fast yes type in our password for the server and boom we are good so let's run sudo system ctl status and then let's check the status of our isc type p server type in our password for it and boom it is active and running and enabled so we're good to go there all right so now that we've got our dhcp server up and running i wanted to show you guys one more thing and that's how to check the dhcp leases now you can look at a specific file on the server let me make this bigger so you guys can at least see the command a little bit better all we had to do is look at a specific file under the var lib directory and there is a directory under there and then there's a dhcp leases and let me tap it out and actually i'm not putting any application in there but we're gonna use let's use less and tap that out and then it's leases and press enter yeah it'll tell you the leases right there so you can see the client host name you can check out the actual ip address that's assigned to it binding state active and this is the leasing time start in all that stuff the hardware ethernet so the mac address the uuid and the client host name like i just showed you guys we could just quit that out but yeah you can check out that file that's one of the easiest ways to check and there you have it you've just set up your very own d server on ubuntu i hope this video helped you understand the process and give you the confidence to try it out yourself i know i had to do things a little bit different because i already have a dhcp server set up on my network i didn't want to have issues with it i also wanted to use a different ip address from the main one on my network just to show you guys something different as well as segment things out so i don't have ip conflicts or anything like that that i was running into i just wanted to make it totally separate so you guys can see it like on a new network but if you have any questions make sure you drop them in the comments below i love hearing from you guys and you guys know i'm here to help so don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from the keep it techie channel but thanks for watching and until next time keep it techie